thank you and uh, and uh, thank you for uh, thank you for this second chance to I don't know go at it. Huh? So uh, uh, yesterday I realized that uh, this idea of uh, annotating uh, on the fly uh, doesn't uh, work well for me. I'm, I I admire the the people who can do that, but. Uh, uh, I, I'm not one of them, at least not now, maybe after a lot of uh, practice. Uh, yeah. So right now it's just a regular, uh, regular slide talk. Yeah, talk on slides. Yes. And uh, this is, uh, this is my, uh, my plan. This is my plan. So actually, uh, uh, what I like is, uh, so, so there is this interesting, uh, well, we, yesterday we, I, I advertised, yes, there are, uh, besides the classical cumulants, which are classical, yes, so have, have been around for a for hundred years or more, yes, there are the, Pre-cumulants and the Boolean cumulants, and uh, I'd like to uh, point out uh, um, a, a, an interesting uh, uh, interpolation between them. And actually, this interpolation, uh, this is uh, an opportunity to bring up uh, the issue of transition functions, because actually, so uh, you have moments and cumulants, and all the time you do transitioning, you do transition from moments to this kind of cumulants or to the other kind of cumulants. In fact, it's easier to go from, from the cumulants to, towards the moments, okay? And then using the moments as an intermediary, you can uh, uh, try to, to, to transition between two different brands of cumulants, okay? But all this transitioning, uh, how, how do you think of it? And uh, my uh, thesis is that, uh, that there is a group involved. There are, there are some symmetries and there is a group of transitioning functions, okay, which, uh, which helps you go between uh, moments and various brands of cumulants. Are you moving your slides? Sorry? Are you moving your slides? I am, yes. Uh, this doesn't happen. I, I am, oops. Uh, what could be the, what could be the, the, the explanation? Huh? Uh, okay. Uh, I press escape. Uh, okay, so apparently, okay, so uh, if I if I keep it a bit smaller, maybe uh, like like may, maybe what happened was when I did that presentation mode, something happened. Yeah, sorry. So uh, uh, yeah, my uh, my yeah. Well, st still same same uh, same uh, yucking. Yes, uh, but here actually you see the the sections of my uh, of my uh, of my lecture and uh, this uh, this idea of group yes so 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 i i, I was saying uh, uh, in in order to uh, to transition between moments and 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 and, and cumulants or, or directly between two different brands of cumulants yes uh, there is a group involved and actually the main point is to kind of discuss uh, well where where does this group live what, what does this consist of yeah it's it's this group g twitter which appears on the on the on the on the on the on the table of contents yes uh, yeah, so so this uh, M sub A uh, is the main animal from yesterday. I I, I will review it in a, in, in a second. So so I will uh, the, the the idea is to to, to look at this tibul and cumulants as an as an appetizer, but then go uh, for the group of kind of symmetries of of, of of transitioning functions, and then in the end return to the tibul and cumulants and see what uh, what what we get about it. Okay, so uh, yeah, so. Uh, uh, this uh, this M uh, this uh, Gothic M sub A yes this is uh, from yesterday and actually let me mention so that the file uh, of yesterday is posted on the conference website okay uh, if uh, if anybody wants to, to to look at that yes so review the uh, the notations but anyway so uh, so there is a non commutative probability space and uh, uh, our playground I, I I was saying yesterday for the, for dealing with moments and and cumulants is this M sub A and the, the, the objects, the, the, the elements of, of M sub A are uh, sequences of multilinear functions. Psi n is n linear and all together they, they, they form one psi underline, which is uh, one kind of thing that you want to, 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 to play with. And uh, moments are like that and cumulants are like that. Yeah. Uh, another bit of notation from yesterday yes, is that actually when you have psi n, you extend, you define psi sub pi for any part for, uh, for any set partition pi of the set one to three n. Yes, and the psi sub pi is defined as a product uh, defined by how the blocks of pi tell you to break uh, the set of one to three n. 
yeah okay and again this is in the notations uh, of, of of lecture one if you want to review it yeah okay and uh, uh, because uh, a has a special linear functional phi on it uh, then we can use this phi the, this original phi to to create a full collection of multilinear functionals yes so so one one object in this ma uh, which is called the family of moment functionals of uh, of of a phi, yeah, and then uh, what I uh, what I yacked about yesterday was that actually uh, then uh, by starting from this uh, moment functionals you define you you can define various brands of cumulant functionals and I was playing uh, with a collection L of uh, of sub lattices so 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 P was the collection of all set partitions of all sets of the form one to three n for all n. And L was a collection of L of n's, where L of n sits inside P of n. Yeah, and then uh, for uh, for a suitable L, uh, there is a K underline. So, so everything underline, if if it's underline, if it's a, if it's a Greek letter underline, means that it must belong here. It, it's like this psi underline. Uh, these are uh, cumulants, L cumulants, and uh, you get them through a uh, moment cumulant formula. Yes, so there there was a basic moment cumulant formula, and then there was an extension of them. Okay, and uh, yeah, so today I, I, I look at the free and the Boolean cumulants. Yeah, and these were the basic, the basic uh, moment cumulant L formula for L being non-crossing partitions gives you sum over non-crossing partitions for L uh, being uh, uh, the set of interval partitions, you get a summation over interval partitions. Yes, and these were the, the formulas defining uh, free and Boolean cumulants. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I, as advertised in the beginning, uh, yes, it's uh, uh, there is a nice one parameter interpolation t running from zero to one. Yes, which connects uh, the free cumulants to the Boolean ones. Yeah. And I, I'd like I like to to, to introduce it. And uh, for that, so today we look at non-crossing partitions, and there uh, there is this business of inner and outer blocks. Yeah. So. Uh, so if the partition has no crossings, then it's becoming relevant to 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 look at the at the nesting structure of the blocks, because the because the blocks, since they cannot cross, they they would be naturally nested inside each other. Yeah. So so for instance, this is an example, just two blocks, and you see three four is nested inside one to five. Yeah. Okay. And the block which is nested into something is called an inner block, while a block which is not nested into anything else is called an outer block. So, so this pi of my example has one inner block and one outer block. Okay. And it's convenient to give a name. So inner of pi is the number of inner blocks. Yeah. Uh, one uh, thing to, to note, trivial thing, but uh, useful is that, uh, so uh, when can the inner pi be zero? So means there are no inner blocks, means all the blocks are outer blocks, means there are no nestings. So therefore, it's exactly when pi is an interval partition. So, so, so interval partitions are described by requiring that the inner of pi, the, the, the number of inner blocks is zero. Okay, so then, uh, then uh, uh, I can uh, then uh, introduce this interpolation, yeah, in the following way. So, 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 so this is the basic moment cumulant formula uh, for T, uh, for, for, for T Boolean cumulants, yeah. Uh, so what does he do? So so actually, let, let me go for a moment back. So you see, so 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 these were sums over non-crossing partitions and, and over interval partitions, but 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 plain sums. And and what I'll do is still sum over all the non-crossing partitions when when I go to my t boolean, uh, but put some coefficients. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. So so still sum over all non-crossing partitions. Yeah. Uh, but it's uh, it's uh, kind of weight weight, weight uh, ha has a weight which is uh, so so t is my parameter yeah t t is uh, well can, can be any any real parameter for 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 what I do here uh, t to the inner number to 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 the number of of inner blocks yeah okay and we observe that uh, for t equals one uh, then this uh, this is just one so therefore we are uh, defining the uh, the free cumulants, yeah. So, so, so uh, this will be called the k uh, k superscript t, yeah. Okay, and t equals one will give the free, 
and uh, t equals zero will give the the boolean. Why 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 does t equals zero give the boolean? T equals zero gives the boolean because uh, uh, here everything is killed unless uh, uh, they have no inner blocks. And then if they have no inner blocks, then then this becomes a summation over interval partition, and it's exactly the one defining the boolean components. Okay. And uh, yeah, this might look uh, a bit uh, arbitrary. Yes, you kind of uh, put artificial, but uh, uh, let me mention. So, uh, Bozeko and Bisochansky in a paper in 2001, actually they they spotted this. They they uh, they, they spotted that, that this is a good thing to do. And uh, what they were interested in was uh, they were interpolating actually uh, uh, free additive well uh, additive convolutions between free and boolean. Yeah, because actually once you have a once you have a, a, a definition of what are the cumulants, then uh, also there is a there is an operation of uh, additive convolution, which is uh, namely the operation which those uh, cumulants linearize. Okay, so 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 Bozeko and Bisochansky studied uh, 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 a convolution, uh, deformed convolution uh, in, in terms of this parameter t between zero and one, which interpolates between free and boolean convolution. Okay, so uh, now let me uh, let me uh, let me pitch. Uh, okay, so so uh, this is what they did. But actually, the angle which I use is kind of like uh, kind of discovering that these t boolean cumulants are really natural um, uh, from a different angle, which is a which is a which is a combinatorial angle, if you want. Yeah, and let me mention here that. Uh, 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 so uh, what I'm doing in today's talk actually follows this uh, this uh, paper of last year, yeah, uh, a paper by by five authors. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, okay. So uh, so I, I I put A uh, even though actually uh, A A is for Adrian, but but this is Adrian Celestino. Okay, so so should be a C really. Kurus uh, Ebrahimi uh, Fard, myself, Daniel Perales, and uh, Leon Wichman, who was at that time an undergraduate research student. Okay, and I will go. Uh, I will go uh, at tibul and cumulants uh, in the way it's done in that paper. And actually, uh, what's the what's the paper? So actually, uh, uh, the paper actually is uh, really focusing on this group G Twitter. Yeah. So so it's a it's a it's a convolution group. Okay. Which uh, kind of gives you transitions, in, in particular transitions between cumulants. Okay, and then uh, in that group G twiddle, if if that if that encodes transitions, then then you're you're going to have a function there in that group which transitions from boolean to free. Okay, and then uh, because that's a group, you can take the subgroup generated by that function, which means you take all the integer powers of that function. Okay. <laughs> And you find that there is a concrete formula for how uh, those integer powers look like, and actually uh, that formula makes sense for any real number. So, so pretty much you can define a one a one parameter subgroup of this G twiddle, which somehow completes, in a certain sense, uh, uh, the integer powers of this transition function. So, so pretty much, actually, it's it's quite simple. Yeah, you go from boolean to free. And you take all the powers that, that you can take, and then you discover that naturally you can take real powers. Okay. And then uh, if you look uh, what this uh, real power does, it's doing like, like uh, start, st starts from uh, Boolean. And where does it go? It lands exactly at this T Boolean cumulants. Yeah. So, so this is how T Boolean cumulants show in our, uh, in our uh, game. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's the plan. Yeah. That's the plan. And, this was, I believe, the first part of my talk, and somehow, like, like now, like, uh, so if uh, if you if you get bored and uh, somehow fall asleep or start doing something else uh, during the the rest of the talk, please remember, yes, this is the, the main the main thing which we are doing. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I'm uh, now ready to go at the at the second part uh, at the second part of my talk. Yes, where I start. Looking at this group G twiddle. So, what's this group G twiddle? And in order to introduce this group G twiddle and also to explain why the functions in there are called semi multiplicative, so I'd, I'd better also say what, what does it mean to be multiplicative. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I'll, I'll have to go to the convolution. Uh, to, to the, the, this is a framework introduced by Rota originally convolution in a lattice. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs>
interesting stuff to <laughs> okay good so uh, look how it goes so so this is actually a, an idea of rota for for a general family of lattices like like those of yesterday yeah so uh, uh, but you do uh, non crossing uh, somehow to the power two between brackets yes this means uh, pretty much uh, you take all the intervals but uh, you you say uh, you take pairs pi sigma where pi is less than equal sigma yeah and pi pi and sigma are non crossing partitions yeah and uh, let's take uh, all the functions on this uh, collection of intervals uh, to to get a group uh, we impose this condition normalize like uh, uh, f of pi and pi is always equal to 1 yeah and uh, then there is a convolution which you define here yeah uh, namely so if you if if you want to evaluate uh, the convolution at pi sigma you look at all the intermediate rows and you do f1 of pi rho f2 of, of rho sigma it's, it's like matrix multiplication in fact Pretty much, this is about matrices, and uh, this condition, uh, like, like it is, uh, like 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 pi being less than sigma. So 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 these functions can be viewed as upper triangular matrices. And here I, I ask that, that they have ones on the diagonal. So pretty much that that's why uh, this is going to be a group, which I'm saying here. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is the framework of convolution in a lattice, which is uh, for us here in the lattice of in the in the collection of all lattices of non-crossing partitions. Okay. And inside there, uh, we find again this is an idea coming going back to, to Rota, uh, even though for for uh, non-crossing partitions this was uh, found by by Spy here. I'll 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 comment on that a bit later. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so there are uh, you, you, you've got a smaller group of so-called multiplicative functions. And, and where does this come from? It comes from here that uh, actually, if you take the partially ordered set provided by by an interval, so so you take everything between a pi and the sigma. Okay, if you look at the isomorphism class of that partially ordered set, you can factor it as a, as a Cartesian product of full lattices of non-crossing partitions. Yeah, and uh, moreover, actually, uh, these uh, P2PN uh, they are uniquely determined. So, uh, so makes sense. Yeah, here, here is a, a repeat of what was on the on the preceding slide. Yeah, so uh, you have this uh, factorization, and you declare the function f to be multiplicative if it follows this uh, factorization. So, uh, so, uh, so, so here it is. Yes. So. Uh, so uh, this fun these uh, these multiplicative functions in order to to describe them explicitly you start with a sequence of numbers okay and the sequence of numbers gives you a function namely if uh, if pi and sigma if if the interval factors like that with powers p2 and then you put the g of pi sigma to be alpha two to the power p2 alpha and to the power p and so so the alphas are the ones which define the function and the exponents you pick them from the factorization yeah okay and uh, that's uh, that's the so 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 multiplicative functions uh, they are defined. Somebody gives you a sequence of numbers. Yes, uh, alpha one uh, has to be one because actually uh, in this in these factorizations uh, we don't put uh, p non-crossing of one because uh, that, that's a poset with one element, and uh, you cannot determine to, to what power it, it it appears there. Okay, so so alpha one is one, and then uh, uh, the alpha two, alpha three are given to you, and using them you define a function. Okay, and uh, this is a, a multiplicative functions, and they form a subgroup. Okay, and uh, so there are uh, papers uh, by Rota and and his collaborators in the sixties where actually. Uh, they were looking at the full lattices of partitions. Okay, then Roland observed uh, in the 90s uh, that actually uh, there is a faceful analog of that. Well, it is faceful up to up to like up to up to some point, but uh, yeah. So so how you do the, the 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 factorization is a bit different. But anyway, so you you can follow those those uh, those guidelines. But quite importantly, then uh, the non-crossing partitions you can use them in free probability specifically the multiplications of free random variables is perfectly described with uh, such uh, multiplicative functions okay good okay so now uh, what uh, what is semi multiplicative okay so uh, see uh, actually in order to tell you what semi multiplicative uh, uh, so I, I must tell you that, that i'm getting like out of this uh, factorization business i take half of it yes which half well there are two steps there are two steps. Uh, first, it is an easy one where the interval from pi to sigma, you factor it as a product of intervals uh, going to the top. So, so row one to one and one means uh, these are the collection 
in uh, so non crossing partitions of m1 points which are greater or equal than rho 1 so so partitions uh, uh, interval from rho 1 to the largest element of the lattice yeah okay and uh, uh, m1 mk this m1 and k uh, which appear here these are precisely so you you start with the with the partitions pi and sigma really pretty much the sizes of the blocks of sigma tell you what are these m1 mk yeah, so so you do a first step where the interval is uh, factored into a, into a, into into a Cartesian products of intervals which go from somewhere to the top of the lattice, okay? And then you have a second step which asks you, well, what do you do when you have such an interval from something to the top? Yeah, and this one falls now. Now I I forgot. So so here. Uh, uh, so it is P non-crossing, which is non-crossing partitions, and then this is NC, which is also non-crossing partitions. But I forgot to put a backslash in the in the in the LaTeX file. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. So so NC is the same as the other thing. Okay, and uh, uh, this is actually the place where the non-crossing partitions are special and different from the collections of all partitions, because here actually this is best done. Uh, you you do Creveras complements, as explained uh, in the talk of Jorge yesterday. And then uh, these become intervals from zero going to something, and those you, you factor nicely. So, so it's a bit more complicated, but we don't have to look at that. We, do, we don't look at that because semi multiplicative means we just look at the first step. Okay. So, uh, so uh, G is said to be semi multiplicative if it, if it respects the first step. Yeah. G of pi sigma is the product of these, uh, of these uh, K uh, Gs of intervals from something to the top of the corresponding lattice. Yeah, and, and we are not interested in the second one. And in this way, we get a bigger group. That, that's our, our point. We, we get a bigger group because uh, the multiplicative functions were good for describing multiplications of, random, of, of, of free random variables, but it was too, like, like uh, uh, you cannot use the multiplicative functions for connections to cumulants. These ones, you can, the, the, the semi-multiplicative, you can, okay? And uh, this means that I'm done with my second part. Yes, because I, uh, I, I, I explained what is the, the group G Twitter. Yeah, okay, so, so it's a group of functions under convolution. Yeah, and now remember, so, uh, so uh, everything, all the cumulants, including these uh, T bull and cumulants were in this uh, fractal MA. Yeah, okay, G Twitter lects on that. that. That's my next, ne next point of business. Yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, a recap of what we had. Yes. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, what was G twiddle? Yes. So, so fu functions which respect comply with the first step of the of the factorization procedure, but uh, procedure, but we don't require uh, something to happen on the, on the second. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and uh, it can be proved. Yes, with some, uh, but it's not uh, nothing like two kind of like like you 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 grind at it, and you can prove that G twiddle is is uh, is closed under multiplication and under inverses, and therefore. Here's a subgroup of the convolution group. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now the point is that actually this group G twiddle acts on the right on the MA. Yeah. So 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 the the non-commutative prob probability space A phi and uh, this space MA is as before as, as in section one. Okay. And uh, you take a psi. Yes. Yeah? So, so psi is a collection of psi ends, right? Where psi n is an n linear function. Okay, and you hit it on the right with a semi-multiplicative function G, and you get a theta, which is a collection of theta n's. Yeah. Okay, and then the the the, the question is how do you define theta n uh, in terms of uh, the G and the psi n's? And and this is the, this diamond is our formula. Yeah. So it is a summation over non-crossing partitions. Yeah. Of psi pi's. Yeah. And you put some coefficients, and these coefficients are uh, G at pi, uh, from, from, from pi to the top of the lattice. You see like uh, the fact that the function is semi-multiplicative, that was kind of uh, kind of uh, implicit in, in what I, let, let me maybe, where is it here? Yeah, you see this formula, this formula which I had the two slides ago, says what? Says that actually if the function is, is, is semi-multiplicative and if you know it uh, on intervals from something to top, so, so if you know G of rho comma one M for every rho and one M, uh, then you know it completely because uh, all the all the all the g pi sigmas are are determined from that. And in fact, uh, you can show uh, kind of also uh, that uh, this g rho sub uh, uh, this g's of rho comma one m you, you can choose them freely. So so pretty much you, you you know how to 
how to how to understand uh, these uh, these semi multiplicative functions but anyway so see, these are the the relevant values of the of the multiplicative function okay which you put as coefficients and uh, yeah so so here is an example yeah so so say if if n was equal to 3 yeah so so then then theta 3 theta 3 has to be uh, has to be written in terms of uh, of the size yeah and uh, you look at the various so so uh, so so always uh, there is a term so so this uh, pi uh -huh, again here, here is a missing backslash, uh, backslash. okay so so th this is a pi uh, non crossing partitions of city if if this is the partition with one block uh, the value is always uh, so so we we, we say that g of 1 1 is is 1 so so always this coefficient is 1 which allows uh, which allows us to, to, to invert the, the relations pretty much okay so 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 this is the partition with one block of one to three this is the partition with three singletons and this is the corresponding psi sub pi yes which is a product of three things and then there are three partitions uh, which have one double tone and 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 one singleton uh, for instance this one breaks away one from two and three so it's psi one of x one psi two of the other two fellows and the coefficient is g pi one one three. Yeah, so, so uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a natural natural uh, uh, formula. And the point is that uh, by working on what are the the, the details of these definitions, uh, actually this this action is uh, compatible with the uh, multiplicative structure of the group. So so really this is a group action. Yeah, this is a group action. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, now uh, let's see, like, uh, where are we? So, uh, okay, so uh, uh, we, I had uh, I had free cumulants and boolean cumulants and, uh, well, moments too, of course, but, uh, okay, so so let, let, let me write again. Uh, so uh, uh, th this is, again, the, the basic moment cumulant formula for free cumulants, yeah, okay, a as it was uh, wh when I started the, the talk. And uh, here uh, it's clear that all the coefficients are one. So, so I, I have... My my convention so is like this so so G will stand for a function which is in the group G Tweedle, so G is semi multiplicative, and uh, this kind of things with the dish. so so F C stands for free cumulants and M stands for moments. So 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 this is the transition function from free cumulants to moments because indeed it's, it's it's giving moments in terms of free cumulants. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, uh, this this relation you you write it in short as saying that gfcm acts on uh, the free cumulants and and gives you the moments yes and and what is this gfcm well it is identically equal to one because uh, here it's only once yeah okay so so that's that's a function in my group uh, g twitter yeah uh, here's another function on uh, on the group uh, g twitter yes because there was this uh, this uh, formula for uh, boolean cumulants and, and again there is an action whose action, so, so BCM, so Boolean cumulants to moments is, is what we have here, yeah? And uh, yeah, so uh, this, this should be K superscript Boolean, yes, uh, which appears here. So, so, so this K superscript Boolean, you act on, on the right on it with GBC moments and you get the moments. And uh, then uh, you look at what the formula is and you see that what you have is the function which is one on interval partitions and zero otherwise, yeah? Uh, this is when you evaluate it at these determining uh, values. Uh, it, it would be not hard to, to write uh, GBCM at, at, at any pi sigma, but uh, somehow they, then I'd have to introduce some, some partial order relation, which is used by people, for instance, by, by, by Philippe Bian, but then I, 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 I didn't want to, to, to take a detour in that. Yeah? So, uh, so, so, so this formula defines uniquely, so the, uh, there is a unique semi-multiplicative function, which uh, on the relevant values pi to one n has these values, okay? And uh, this gives you the transition from uh, Boolean cumulants to, uh, to moments, okay? And then uh, by actually putting the things together, but uh, well, I don't know, I, 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 I don't want to, to put the things together now. The, I, I just want to, uh, to, to quote, uh, to, to cite Franz Lerner, who found that, that that was actually the beginning of, of the observation that it is relevant uh, to study relations between cumulants, which I believe uh, like uh, at first sight looks, uh, looks like a strange thing to kind of examine transitions between different brands of cumulants. Why, why would anybody do that? 
so uh, so this is a paper in, in 2002 by by, by france where, where he observed uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this nice relation so uh, so if you want to write boolean cumulants in terms of free cumulants uh, then you have a you you have again a summation yeah and what you have to do so uh, you sum uh, yeah, so so here actually uh, uh, reducible. I think this set to stay and because there are too many indices. Yes, yeah, so so the the non-crossing partitions. Okay, let, let, let's take it for for the moment that uh, the non-crossing -cro uh, partitions which put one and n in the same block. Uh, if they put one and n in the same block, that that is to be one outer block and uh, and and it is the 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 unique outer block of, of that pi. So 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 partition uh, non-crossing partitions with a unique outer block. Yeah. These are the irreducible ones, and they they are irreducible in in a sense that that I'll discuss uh, uh, just a bit later. Okay, uh, so then uh, then then this formula in purple, uh, yes, again, uh huh, uh, I I'm missing uh, the the superscript. So so this is k boolean on the left, yeah, k k boolean on the left equals k free. Uh, so so k boolean equals k free. On which you act with uh, the suitable function fc dash bc, which takes you from free cumulants to boolean cumulants. Yeah. Okay. I I, I apologize for these uh, missing superscripts and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. When, when I send to ping uh, the file of the of the of the lecture, I will I will put the superscripts uh, there and I will correct all the mistakes that you people will catch me with. Okay. So uh, good. Uh, yeah. Okay. And what is uh, so? So then, uh, based on uh, looking at the formula, we know that uh, this uh, transition from free cumulants to boolean cumulants. Yes, uh, this is how it goes. So it is uh, on the relevant intervals pi to one, and it is one on irreducibles and zero otherwise. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, it's amusing that uh, okay. So so because you know that you can go from uh, from free cumulants to boolean cumulants and then from boolean cumulants to moments in two in two stages uh, you're going to get uh, the connection from free cumulants to moments so so you get a formula which has to 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 hold uh, in the group g twiddle and uh, yeah you you can also check it directly by by the definitions and and, and by some combinatorics but anyway so that's uh, that's kind of the game yes yeah? so, so this is how the how the semi multiplicative functions uh, uh, um, uh, uh, do do these transitions so 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 simplify at least the 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 notation on on what you are doing. Okay, good. So now uh, these uh, semi-multiplicative uh, functions. Now actually, I'm going to point out some subsets there. In fact, there, there is a subgroup of G twiddle which is of interest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which will be uh, transitions from cumulant to cumulant. Yeah. Okay. But what does that mean? So okay. So so here the, this remark uh, this uh, this remark states what I had said already is that uh, the function g is completely determined by values on such on such uh, pairs pi to one n because other, uh, after that you use uh, the decomposition and the semi multiplicativity property. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now the thing is that uh, you want to, uh, to 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 have g's which are determined by even fewer values, namely when, when you look at nc irreducible. Yeah, okay. Now let me define again nc irreducible so that it really, it, it really feels like, like, uh, like, like an irreducibility notion, yeah? And this is about concatenation. So, so definitely if you have two non-crossing partitions, you can concatenate them, yeah? So you, you place pi one on the points from one to n one. So, so pi, pi one is in uh, non-crossing of n one, pi two is in non-crossing of, of n two. Uh, you use n n one points for pi one, and then uh, to the right of that, you use n two points for pi two, and bang, that's that that's your concatenation uh, den denoted as a rhombus, yeah, kind of. Okay, and uh, yeah, so irreducible means that that it cannot be written in a non-trivial way uh, like such uh, concatenation, yeah. Uh, okay, but uh, you see right away that uh, that uh, this is exactly what I said before. Yeah, so one and then must be in the same block. Yeah, okay. Uh, on the other hand, uh, yeah, uh, if uh, if the partition, if the if the if the non-crossing partition is not irreducible, uh, you can follow the outer. So so they, then then it's going to have several outer blocks, and you can follow those blocks from left to right. So so the, those outer blocks they, they really must sit next to each other. Okay, and, and you follow them and you fill them in, so to speak, and you get a concatenation. 
uh, uh, th that pi obtained as, as a concatenation of, of irreducible partitions. So, so really, this is a, a solid notion of, of irreducibility. Okay. And uh, then uh, I want uh, to define some subsets of, uh, of G Tweedle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, it is uh, to be of cumulant moment type when uh, it uh, it behaves under concatenation, it, it factors out. Yeah. So so whenever you have a, whenever you have a, a concatenation, uh, you get the product. Okay. That's a cumulant to moment. Cumulant to cumulant, you just ask that it is uh, it is uh, um, supported on irreducibles. It is it is zero. So so anything which is not irreducible, uh, G is zero on it. So I, I I wrote it like this so that it it is similar to, to the one above. Yeah. Okay, uh, and uh, you have G twiddle, uh, G twiddle C dash M. These are cumulant to moment type, yeah, and uh, C dash C functions which are cumulant to, to, to cumulant, yeah, okay. And uh, immediate to see that, uh, uh, of course, the, this is obvious for uh, uh, G twiddle C dash C that it is completely determined if you know its values uh, G pi n when pi is, is irreducible because any other pi would give you zero. Yeah. Uh, for uh, C dash M, it's also true because of this uh, decomposition and the fact that any any uh, non-crossing partition is a concatenation of of, of irreducible. So so you you know how to how to factor it. Yeah. So anyway, so. So, so in, uh, when you are in, in, in one of these sets, uh, it suffices to know the values uh, g of pi comma one n when, when, when pi is irreducible. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, the reason for uh, calling them C dash C and, 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 and C dash M is that uh, actually the, the various examples uh, that, that we looked at, uh, whenever you have transitions, like, like, like I showed before, like uh, free cumulance to moments or, or boolean cumulants to two moments so, so uh, or uh, various uh, like uh, monotone cumulants to moments always uh, turns out to be in uh, C dash M. Yeah. While uh, when you uh, while when you uh, try to do a direct calculation between two different brands of uh, cumulants, uh, you discover that, that it's a function which is in C dash C. Yeah. OK. And uh, well, the this is very much uh, related to the to the group structure. Yes, because actually wh what we prove, yes, is that uh, a cumulant to cumulant, this is a group, a subgroup of uh, of uh, G Tweedle, yeah, and G Tweedle uh, C dash M is a right coset, yeah. So so we pick your favorite function uh, from cumulants to, to moments, like for instance one of those two which I showed, yeah, either free cumulants to moments or boolean cumulants to, to moments. Fix that, call it H, and uh, multiply it uh, so on the left. With all the all the cumulant to, to cumulant functions, and that's gonna be the collection C dash M. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, quite somehow, like when you when you start working with this, of course, you you'd say that this one from from free cumulants to, to moments must be the 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 the, the, the nicest one because it's because it's identically equal to one. But uh, then uh, the other one uh, from boolean cumulants to, to moments, actually that that one turns out to also have a nice nice features. Yes. And this is uh, that this is a long paper actually. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I I believe I I think the, uh, there is one of the sections of the paper which elaborates on that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, good. So now I'm done. I with uh, with the section four. Yeah. Uh, 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 so I I I, I explained what is cumulant to moment and cumulant to cumulant, and uh, I am now uh, returning to the t boolean cumulants. Yeah. And I'd like to uh, uh, to to see uh, what's going on there. Yes. Okay, so uh, so we have uh, functions so boolean cumulants to moments superscript t. Yeah. Okay. So 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 this will be the function from t boolean cumulants to moments. Okay. And uh, how do we put it? Well, okay. So we we have to assign it on uh, on pairs of the form pi comma one n. Okay. And uh, we, we take uh, t to the number of inner blocks of pi. Yeah, okay, we take that. And uh, uh, then uh, obviously if we make uh, uh, t equals one, then, then this is identically equal to one. So we get, uh, we get free cumulants to, to moments. Yeah, uh, if we put zero, exactly that, that thing. It's, uh, this is uh, one when you are dealing with an, with an interval partition and, and zero otherwise. So you get uh, at, at t equals zero, you get uh, the transition boolean cumulants to moments. 
yeah okay uh, okay uh, it is immediate that the number of inner blocks so when you do a concatenation uh, the number of, of inner blocks is adding yeah okay and this immediately tells you that uh, indeed uh, this uh, function will be cumulant to moment type yeah okay okay and then uh, uh, if you uh, if you look back at the equation which defined the t boolean cumulant, so here fortunately I didn't forget to put the the superscript. Yes, so so this is the t boolean uh, cumulant. Yes, and this was the moment cumulant formula which was used to define them. Yeah, okay, and uh, this is exactly the values g pi comma one n. So so actually this is how then you write it in short. Then then. Uh, this is the function. This is the transition function from uh, t boolean cumulants to moments. Okay, and uh, this, as I'm saying, for t equals one and zero, generalizes uh, those two examples at the beginning, uh, which I did earlier with the free and boolean. Okay, so then actually, uh, uh, with it would be it, it is an amusing exercise to then uh, think of how do you transition between two different brands of of, of cumulants and then uh, the two two different values of t is uh, is a right uh, right thing to look I, I mean very nice thing 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 to look at yes and and uh, look let, let me show you the the calculation it's 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 quite easy so so you write that the moments are obtained but now 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 this is all uh, yeah like like formal it is it is the action of that group on uh, uh, on 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 spaces of functionals yes so. Uh, so uh, you 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 write the moments both as uh, the action of the t cumulants, well, well of, of 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 this transition function on t cumulants, and uh, at the same time uh, moments are the action of the other transition function on s cumulants. Okay, and you eliminate uh, phi, yeah, and uh, you get that. Uh, the t boolean cumulants they are obtained out of the s boolean cumulants by action on the right with this element of the of the group g twitter and uh, this element has to be so 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 because uh, uh, so so bcm and uh, bcm s and 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 and, and bcm t they, they are both on the right coset so so then this uh, this expression really is in the group cumulant to cumulant yeah okay so so you've got this element yeah okay uh, you've got this element and uh, this is the element in uh, the, this is the the semi multiplicative function of cumulant to to to, to cumulant type which uh, which which gives transition from uh, from s to t yeah and mind you like uh, the the relation of lenar going uh, going from free to boolean or or, or vice versa should be here when you put s and t to be zero and one in, in some order yeah okay uh, and of course then then the question comes okay so can we uh, say uh, what are the, the values of this function yes can, can we explicitly say what's the function yeah and actually yes uh, this function comes actually there is a one parameter subgroup uh, of g twiddle c dash c which is hiding here yeah okay so so we we introduce it here it's going to be called the u sub q okay and uh, how how does it go? So I I can I can define it uh, explicitly. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so it is uh, so 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 Q is my uh, parameter. And uh, again, if I put the UQ uh, of, of 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 such a pair, it is uh, yeah Q to the well, yeah. So so if if pi is irreducible, uh, yeah, then uh, uh, then uh, it's it's having exactly one outer block so so actually this is the same as saying so so uh, total number of blocks minus one this is the same as the number of inner blocks yeah okay so so it is number of inner blocks but but for irreducibles and zero otherwise so so this makes it clear that it is of cumulant to, to cumulant type okay and then uh, some calculations there show that in fact uh, really this is a this is a one parameter subgroup of g twiddle c dc yeah okay so uh, um, that that's uh, that, that's uh, that's uh, that, that's one thing, and then the other thing, actually, this is like uh, kind of this is what demystifies de 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 the, the the whole thing is that actually these uh, these transitions from t boolean cumulants to moments, yes, which are on the on on the right coset of the group, uh, it's the UQs, uh, the, the 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 action of the of the of the of the UQs which which makes it happen. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, 
Uh, another observation which uh, is written here in, the, in, in this remark is that if, if Q is equal to one, so, so this is a one, and then this is exactly that uh, transition from free cumulants to Boolean cumulants. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so uh, then uh, this, uh, this gives you that, uh, that uh, uh, well, so, so U1 is uh, G sub FC dash BC. And then because of this, uh, this formula here, you get that uh, this, this relation UQ equals the, the power Q of G FC BC is uh, holding for uh, Q uh, in, uh, in Z. Yeah, okay. So, so, so we, 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 we've got this, uh, this uh, group uh, generated by by FCBC, but actually uh, because uh, like like Q Q is real, so so it is it is uh, placed inside a, a, a one parameter group, yeah. So so this uh, this is then uh, th this formula then then settles uh, how how you do uh, the the transitions from T boolean cumulants to two moments, and then uh, uh, that's. Uh, that, that's the conclusion then, that like, like that, that, that function that, that I was saying, uh, can we write it explicitly? Yes, uh, uh, here it is. And, 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 and it only depends on the, on the difference S minus T, yeah? Okay, so the transition from S cumulants to T cumulants is given by this uh, formula, sum over irreducibles, and then what, what you put is S minus T to the power pi minus one, yeah? And uh, here is uh, the proof if you want, yes, like, uh, as uh, Harry was saying, yes, yeah, so, so that, that there has to be a proof, G, but this is not really a proof. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> this is my last slide, so my, my, my last chance to, <clears throat> to, uh, to, 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 to claim that, yeah, yeah, here there is a sign which looks like uh, uh, doing a proof. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, so uh, uh, what I had found is that uh, the transition function is, is encoded by, by this function, yes, but because of what I, uh, what I, uh, showed uh, on the on the on the preceding slide actually this is precisely the the uq yeah okay uh, well uh, uq for q being s minus t yeah okay so then then uh, then uh, this is then the the formula uh, and uh, that that that, uh, that transitions from from, from s to t and uh, it is written here in uh, like, like uh, explicit yeah okay and uh, uh, this uh, the 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 the, the um, uh, result uh, of, of France. And actually, actually, I should mention. So, 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 so there is a paper in in, in 2015 by by four authors: um, Arismendi, uh, Haseb, Elenar Vargas, uh, which was very influential for us when we wrote the paper that I kind of presented today, uh, and where they really do a kind of a complete uh, complete uh, table of relations between uh, classical boolean free uh, monotone uh, so uh, and uh, so 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 definitely like but, but anyway so so here like uh, if if s and t are, are zero and one then you retrieve that, that original result of Lenner which is the, the the whole thing yeah and i believe that's uh, that's that's the end of my uh, of my talk yeah? and uh, wow today I, I succeeded not to be late so uh, yes and i see dima there who's uh, yeah waiting uh, yeah Thank <laughs> you.